cellular provider MTN was another company that released numbers this morning. My colleague Dumisho Greater sat down with the firm's CEO, Sfiso Dabengwa, uh, to take a look at those results. Let's take a look at that conversation. Look, I think the first thing is to say, yes, Spectrum is going to be important, um, <coughs> and it's something that we are working on right now. Um, at this stage, the issue about how telecom is going to solve that problem for us is not on the agenda. We are still very much dependent um, on being able to acquire additional spectrum from the regulator. Okay, so those conversations are still going to be ongoing? With the regulator, that's correct. Okay. Um, uh, let's now look at the South African market and the consumer and what you've been able to do here. You did come under pressure in terms of the termination rates, mm -hmm. uh, but you are still wanting to push the subscriber. You are still going to be putting money uh, into in terms of your capital expenditure. What are some of the key things that will help steer MTN in the right direction? Look, we, we believe that there is still um, opportunities for growth in the South African market, um, and we are confident that uh, increasing our investments uh, to the level that we are looking at this year, which is about 10 billion um, rands, um, is the right decision to make. Um, we believe that uh, whilst the consumer uh, may be challenged as a direct result of the overall economy, uh, getting things into the markets that are attractive and that the, co the consumer sees value in uh, will be the key and most important thing for us to do. 10 billion, how much of that? Is this just earmarked for South Africa? We're That's talking correct. about the African continent. How much are we talking outside of South African borders? Um, outside of South Africa, it's a balance of about uh, 15 to 20 billion. So whilst we are with outside South Africa's borders, we do have to talk about in, uh, MTN in Nigeria. You've seen a double, wha a double whammy there. You had the Nara and also the fall in the oil price. Mm -hmm. What's the outlook there? You did mention in the SENS announcements mm -hmm. that you are still looking at economic headwinds for the remainder of this year or for the 2015 period. Look, in the short term, we really haven't seen um, anything, but in the medium term, we expect uh, that the drop in oil prices will impact. The Nigerian economy is very uh, dependent on oil, um, so, so we do expect uh, that there will be an impact. At this stage, it's very difficult to say what the impact will be because we do, we're not too sure what the, um, the pricing implications for the consumer uh, will be. In other words, will there be a reduction um, in the petrol price at the tanks uh, for the consumer? So we will have a much clearer idea um, during the course of the year, but we do expect there will be some impact uh, in one form or another. What strategies are you employing in that particular region to still keep a foothold or to still be competitive? Look, it's important for us that we manage our cost structures well. Uh, we've always uh, uh, made it an important part of our strategies to have the best cost structures in the market um, and then to remain competitive and relevant uh, with respect to the offers that we put into the market. Some of the uh, transactions that you've taken part in during the course of the year has meant uh, selling of towers and leasing some, Nigeria being uh, one particular one. What other strategies are you going to be putting in place? Is this something that is not complete? Tell us the thinking behind that. No, we, we're continuing with that strategy. Uh, we have been of the view <coughs> that um, um, selling and leasing back uh, our infrastructure is, a, is, a, is, a, uh, is an optimum way um, of uh, uh, returning cash uh, is part of the uh, new optimum way of returning cash uh, to shareholders um, and um, whilst we do uh, sell our infrastructure we still do maintain a shareholding in the tower companies in the uh, major operations that we will continue doing um, across uh, our businesses I know that Nigeria is a big player for you, but you're also uh, looking at sanctions that are being imposed on uh, Sudan, on Syria by the EU and the US. How's that planning out and just how significant are those particular operations? Um, Iran is obviously very important. Uh, Sudan is also uh, important. Syria um, is on a much smaller scale. I mean, at the end of the day, the key issue for us is to ensure that we um, um, are working well within the rules uh, as far as sanctions um, are, are concerned. Yes, we have challenges in Iran from a uh, point of view of uh, repatriating um, our dividends, uh, but we are working with the authorities uh, to find a solution. Uh, the key issues with Iran, with um, Sudan and, and Syria have been the depreciation of, of their currencies. 
um, that uh, has had an implication in terms of uh, um, the overall financial position of our businesses. But they are small in the bigger scheme of things. Uh, but we firmly believe that in all these countries, you know, there will be solutions uh, sooner or later, and then they will return to some form of normality. Mm -hmm. Your dividend policy, you said you will continue to have a progressive dividend policy going forward. Are you going to be able to uh, sustain that, given the fact that you are always faced with these economic headwinds, uh, you are pressed to make sure that you are still able to give a competitive service or product? Well, clearly, that is our intention. I mean, if something significantly change, uh, we would then have to relook it, but for now, uh, we don't see anything in the horizon that would make us change our policy. So we're still comfortable uh, with the progressive dividend policy and also being able to do a certain amount of share buybacks. Mm -hmm. Just looking at NTN in about five years' time, what is the picture going to look like in terms of uh, where we're going to get the bulk of the revenue coming from? Uh, Africa, geographical locations, and yes, we know we are moving away from non-voice, or from voice now to data. Mm -hmm. So just give us a picture of the investment case for MTN in five years. Look, I think a key issue is that there will definitely be growth in terms of data revenue, um, and also the services uh, that drive data. Uh, we've made a conscious decision to make sure that we just do not get revenues from data only, but we also get revenues uh, from the services, and hence our investment in uh, uh, Africa Internet Holdings and uh, Middle East uh, Internet Holdings, which is basically an e-commerce uh, platform. Um, but we see ourselves also um, uh, being able to, to generate revenues uh, from the entertainment and media uh, fields, again, uh, based on services that are driven by the Internet. Mobile money is something that you've been very involved in of late. Tell us about that strategy and how is this going to uh, compete with the likes of Kenya's Mbesa, for example? Well, mobile money has been quite successful. Um, I think in our East Africa operation of Uganda, we is probably our most um, uh, advanced and the biggest uh, mobile money business. We are rolling it out in West Africa and last year we had some very good successes in Cameroon um, and in um, uh, Ghana and um, in, in Ivory Coast, um, although it's still quite early. Uh, we're seeing very good uh, signs of good progress. So mobile money is going to be an important part um, of what we, we, we deliver um, to our customers. Um, and we think that going forward, mobile money and other services uh, should contribute uh, about 20% of our revenues um, in the next five years or so. Mm. Has it taken off in South Africa? In South Africa, it hasn't taken off uh, that well. And I think there's a number of... Uh, significant differences in that South Africa's probably got uh, a well-developed banking infrastructure already, uh, financial services infrastructure. So it's a question of finding the right segments uh, for, for whom um, these services uh, will work well. So the bulk of this 20% will be outside of South African borders? Not necessarily, across the board. Across the board. You know, and, and there it's not just mobile money on its own, it's mobile money plus uh, the other services that we spoke about earlier on.